Replace the O-ring and attach the main cooling water outlet pipe. Then attach the various pipes around the cylinder head. Next, the valve operating device. The swing arm construction has been adopted. Take out the intake and exhaust valve push rods. Remove the swing arm retaining bolt and the swing arms. Both intake and exhaust can be removed. The swing arms for intake and exhaust are fully interchangeable. If movement of the roller and the shaft is too loose, replace the swing arm assembly. Assemble the shafts and swing arms, taking care that the lubricating oil passages are aligned properly. Tighten the swing arm retaining bolts to the specified torque. Next, fuel oil injection pump maintenance. Remove the injection block the fuel intake and outlet tubes and the various pipes. Lock for the fuel oil main pipe and remove the fuel injection pump from the engine. Turn the pump upside down and remove the snap ring. Remove the plunger guide. Plunger. Control sleeve. Control rack. And the deflector. Loosen the retaining bolt and remove the delivery valve. Do not disassemble the delivery valve. Now remove the set screw for the plunger barrel and remove the barrel. Inspect the barrel, the plunger, and the deflector. Check for scratches or cavitation. Wash all of the disassembled parts and clean them off with compressed air. Now we'll begin reassembling the fuel oil injection pump. First, be sure to separate the parts from each pump without getting them mixed up with other parts. Treat the plunger and plunger barrel as a single unit at all times. Replace the plunger barrel O-rings and backup rings. When inserting the plunger barrel, apply grease to the O-rings and match the set screw hole with the plunger barrel alignment hole. Tighten the set screw. Grease the deflector O-ring and install it. Apply Mollycoat 1000 to the screw part and seat of the bolt and tighten it evenly to the specified torque. The teeth so that each recessed part matches. Then move the rack to see if it moves smoothly, stroking it from zero notch to full notch. Then confirm the zero point. Confirm the height of the fuel injection pump against the baseline. The height of the assembly can be adjusted via the push rods inside the fuel injection pump tablets. Next, we'll look at the maintenance.